What's going on everybody? So today I want to talk to you about how you can get over your approach anxiety. So without further ado, you have been feeling nervous or anxious about approaching women that you want to ask out or you want to get their number. I completely understand how you are feeling and I want to walk you guys through the process of how you can overcome the fear that you are having of approaching women and setting up dates. So without further ado, the only reason that you are having fear of approaching women is because you have a fear of rejection. It is completely normal and completely natural to fear rejection. You guys, nobody likes to be made feel as though they are not wanted by someone, especially someone that you might desire on a romantic level. I mean, you wouldn't apply for a job if you thought you were going to get rejected for it. You wouldn't waste all of your time filling out the application, typing up a brand new resume only so that you can get rejected. You guys, people go after the jobs that they want because they believe that they can actually get them. You have to actually have that same level of internal enthusiasm any time you are going up and approaching a girl to ask her out or to start a conversation or to make your approach, you've got to be confident that you have what it takes to get her number and to get her out on a date. And the way that you are going to get yourself into that mentality is you are going to remind yourself that you are the prize. You are the prize at the end of this at the end of this game of dating, you know. They are actually winning you. You're not winning them. They are winning you. So if you actually think of it like that, like, you know, a rejection is actually her losing the game. So you getting rejected is that person not getting the gift of having you in your life. So this is in their life, excuse me. This is all about perspective, you guys. If you have the right perspective and in your mind, you are reminding yourself that you are the prize, you are the one that is going to add value to somebody else's life, rejection kind of just disappears and it kind of just dissipates. And rather than fearing rejection, you actually embrace rejection as a positive thing, as one step, uh, is one thing that's getting you one step closer to inevitable success. Not everyone is going to like you. Not everyone is going to find you attractive. That is actually a very, very good thing. Some girls might want a guy who's over six feet tall. You might only be five foot five. Some girls want guys who have, you know, sleeves of tattoos and piercings and they're all like, you know, tatted up or whatever. And the bad boys, some girls don't want that. Some girls want the guy who's, you know, cleaned up. He, you know, doesn't have a big beard or anything. He's clean shaven. You know, he dresses really, really well. So everybody is looking for something different. And you got to remind yourself that this fear of approach that you're having is literally something that you've created in your mind. So if you want to get over that fear and the approach anxiety that you're having, the first thing that you can do is just start making more approaches. Put yourself out there more often. If you go out and you ask a hundred girls out, if you get 10 numbers out of that, that's amazing. That is 10 numbers that you didn't have before. And you know what? The girls that didn't take your number or that didn't exchange numbers with you, it's their loss. That's the second most important thing you got to remember. You got to remember that you are the prize. Now, 
the caveat to all of that is that if you don't really feel like you're the prize, this isn't like one of those fake it till you make it things. You can't really fake it if you don't feel it inside and it's not something that you actually truly believe. So that may require you stepping up and making yourself more valuable to people that you want to go out with or that you find attractive. So like, you know, for example, maybe you, you know, you suffer from depression or anxiety and that is causing you to feel um, inadequate or inferior then you've got to conquer your anxiety by doing meditation, by doing mindfulness practices, by making sure that you are consuming good foods that are going to give your body and your mind the chance to perform, excuse me, the best odds of performing in a peak performance state. You know, if you're looking in the mirror and you're not super happy with the person looking back at you, then you might need to take control of your physical health by going to the gym and again, you know, improving yourself until you feel as though you are worthy of having someone that you perceive as a nine out of 10 on an attraction scale because again you guys already know this but I'm not teaching you how to get those five sixes and sevens and eights around here we're not settling this is not about teaching you to you know go after the girl that is just average or you know she could easily be replaced I want you guys finding the diamonds in the rough I want you meeting that girl or guy I mean like, oh my gosh, this is the person I've been waiting for. This is who I was waiting to come into my life because this is what I truly deserve. And when you got that mentality of like, I deserve this. I'm not settling for anything less. Nothing is going to stop your success. So the approach anxiety that you are feeling right now, it's really, really something that can easily easily be changed simply by changing your perspective, the way that you are viewing yourself, the way that you are viewing someone that right now you're probably just putting on a pedestal. And remember, physical beauty does not equal internal beauty and an emotionally beautiful person. I have dated and gone out with women that I perceived as nines and tens on a scale of physical beauty that just had absolutely garbage personalities. Their lives were filled with drama and turmoil. They tried to bring drama into our relationship. And overall, they just weren't beautiful people inside and out. Their external beauty did not meet their in, match their internal beauty. And you know what? That is the case the majority of the time. So when you do come across that girl or guy who you perceive as a nine or 10, physically and emotionally, you know, their personality matches that nine or 10 and nobody's going to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. But if you are perceiving them, you know, internally and externally as a nine or a 10, those are the people that you got to be going out, uh, going after. Those are the people you want to get into relationships with or potentially marry if that's something that you're looking for in your life. But is this something that you've been struggling with is approaching women? How did you get over it? Did you use some of the strategies and tips that I recommended here today? Or did you use something entirely different to get over the fears that you've got of rejection right now? Let me know in the comments below so we can help all of those other balanced alphas get some more information and some more guidance from this amazing community that we are creating here. But if you want my help personally, walking you through getting over your approach anxiety, I've got a couple other tools and strategies that I didn't mention in this video that I'd love to help share with you. And you can get my help doing that by heading on over to the, my website at thebalancedalpha.com, signing up for whatever coaching session works best for you. But until then, take care of yourself, stay balanced, and I will see you guys soon.